So it turns out some people really do have superpowers. They're nothing like those you'd find in comic books, but they do make the rest of us look pretty obsolete. Wim Hof may seem like a normal Dutch person, but his abilities have earned him the nickname The Iceman. He has the ability to raise and lower his body temperature whenever he wants to. Science has no idea how this is possible, but can confirm his ability to do so. He even teaches other people how to do it, with an online course on his website. He's made good use of his ability, holding 20 world records, which does include the world's longest ice bath. He also climbed Mount Everest wearing only his underwear, which no one else has ever done. I really doubt anyone else has ever attempted to do it. Dean Carnesis is known for his ability to run forever. He can run endlessly, without getting tired, and without lactic acid building up in his muscles, which is what makes us feel tired while exercising. At one point, he ran 50 marathons in 50 days, and only lost one pound doing it. He ran a marathon at the South Pole, without the minus 25 degree temperature affecting him. He's like a real-life version of The Flash, except much more slow. He once ran 350 miles in 81 hours without sleep. Isomachi has superhuman reflexes. With his katana, he is able to cut a moving BB pellet in half, and has demonstrated this on live TV. He holds many records, like the fastest time to cut a moving tennis ball in half. He is able to anticipate movements in a way other people just can't, and is a master of the Lido style of swordsmanship. Kim Peek is like a real-life Rain Man. And that's because he was the inspiration for Rain Man. He's what's known as a mega savant, giving him one of the best memories in the world. By the age of two, he could read a book every hour and remember everything in it. When interviewed a few years ago, he could recall the contents of 12,000 books. He graduated from high school at the age of 14, having only had 90 minutes of lessons per week. I'm not sure what kind of school that was, but it seems to work. Although, his IQ is just 87, 13 points below average. Ma Zingyang is the lightning man. He has the unique ability to withstand electric shocks and appear to not be affected by it at all. He realized this ability when his television broke. He accidentally connected two live wires and wondered why he didn't die from it, or at least feel the shock. These days, self-electrocution is a hobby of his. He does it for fun on a regular basis. Mike Rutson is the Shark Man. He is somehow able to communicate with and command sharks. No one knows how he does this, but at this point, it's pretty much an accepted fact. It's not really a superpower as much as understanding their behavior, but the effect is similar to actually being able to communicate with sharks. Using this skill, he holds the world's record for the longest time swimming with great white sharks. His occupation is to take people swimming with sharks, and to teach his knowledge of them. Tim Cridland is the Torture King. He's a sideshow performer, who basically just hurts himself on stage. He pushes metal rods through his own skin, and can even cut into his own stomach without it seeming to bother him. Some doctors believe he was born without the ability to feel pain. That doesn't sound like a superpower, but his wounds heal much faster than normal people. He also doesn't bleed when pushing metal rods through his skin. He claims this ability all comes from meditation, but many find that hard to believe. Al Harpin was the man who never slept. He was born in 1862 with extreme insomnia. As a result of this, he never slept. He lived for 94 years and never once slept. In his final years, 
he caught the attention of local doctors. They spent a while investigating him, finding no bed in his house, and eventually concluding he had no need for sleep. But they had no idea how he survived for so long. Most people would have died from sleep deprivation. His mother became injured just days before his birth. Some speculate this caused his brain to develop a unique form of insomnia. Veronica Sider was Hawkeye. She was born in 1951 and naturally developed eyesight 20 times better than average. She could identify people from over a mile away. Her ability was studied by scientists when she went to university and she picked up a world record for the smallest object seen with the human eye. Some people are just born with better eyes. There is a Chinese kid who can see in the dark. He's known as Catboy, and some locals don't even believe him to be human. Masutatsu Oyama is God Hand. He was the founder of Kyokushin Karate, a style more brutal than most others. With one punch, he was able to kill most animals. He put on a live show where he would kill a bull with his bare hands. Sometimes he would snap the horns off their head. He spent years training in isolation at the top of a mountain and could jump onto the roofs of small buildings. This is because he planted a seed once. Every day he would jump over the seed 100 times. As the seed grew into a tree, his jumping got better.